Hi there Aries, how are you today? Welcome to your solar return reading and in this reading we're going to look at your next year around the sun, your next trip around the sun and what's happening in this solar return for you. So we're going to look at what's activated and this will resonate for Aries suns and it will be uh, the first few cards that come out, if we're picking up on the energy that's surrounding you at the moment, we're going to look at what's being activated right now for you, what kind of activations to expect during the year, uh, your next year, what kind of spiritual transformations might be happening, what kind of situations and energies are coming towards you, what kind of, um, just what kind of energies in general you can expect to deal with in your journey for this next year. So let's have a look what Spirit wants to talk to you about for your birthday reading. Let's have a look. Okay. We have determination. It's very Aries energy coming straight out for you. This is solar plexus chakra. We have rebirth. So big transformations happening this year for you. And this is your earth star chakra. So you're going to be determined to root things in the material world this year and psychic development. This is your third eye chakra. It says lots of visions coming towards you. A lot of this action that you're taking is going to be very influenced by your dreams, what you see, your vision for the world, your vision for your life. Let's see what else is being activated this year, Aries. There's, but there's big rebirth happening in how you are in the world, what, how you are physically, You've got magic and belief. Might be a transformation of your beliefs coming through um, this year. We've got magic. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment and to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. So yeah, there's a, there's gonna be some visions you're having this year, Aries, where you are, you have these grand ideas, these big ideas, these transformative ideas on where you want to go in life, what you want to create. And a lot of that is gonna be given to you with visions, your connection with spirit, your third eye, and it's going to make a whole rebirth in your in your life. Things are going to look a lot different. I feel like even in a few months, not even for the whole year. And we've got belief. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. So any kind of feeling of doubt that you've been having around how you are moving in the world, things that are happening, things that you're creating, you're working on, that's all going to shift. Let's have a look at mind space here for you with this belief energy coming through. That's all going to shift and you there's a, a huge push of energy coming to help you this year in what you want to achieve, what you want to accomplish, dreams that you have that you really want to realize. What is my body telling me right now? This feels like yes, no decisions happening in the physical, in the, uh, in your physical body so where you've got something oh, okay we'll take this one name all the things you love yes this is definitely a, a year for dreams coming true for taking action towards things that you really want to manifest we'll get one more what risk can i take today yeah there's a bold risk taker energy coming through this it's like strong self-realization with your Aries energy. Name all the things that you love. So what is it that you love? And spirit is saying move towards that. And with this energy of what is your body telling you right now, there is an energy of this is your yes, no answer. So where you've got yes, no feelings, it's like a no will be very restrictive in your body and a yes will be very open in your body. And that's kind of like your navigation on which way to go. What risk can I take today? So this is all about moving past inner fears, perhaps. Let's have a look at the tarot and see what else. 
what can we expect what kind of energies are going to be surrounding you as you take these bold steps forward and you've got this action energy what kind of whoops okay oh the empress <laughs> straight away empress messenger of earth yeah definitely rooting something in the physical uh physical of uh, your health or perhaps like exercise or nutrition might be quite important this year focusing on health but really focusing on nourishment of your life This is riches as well with the emperor. Did I say empress? I meant emperor. <laughs> this is Aries energy in the tarot. And we've got messenger of earth. So really grounding something, taking really positive steps forward with this determination, this rebirth. This rebirth is gonna be a, like a realization that happens. And it's like you say no i want that that's the thing that i want and it's like the direction that you take straight into what it is that you want to succeed at if there's anything holding you back that is mental to do with mental beliefs this really is believing believing in your this psychic development believing in your third eye vision believing in what you can see it's the um think and grow rich theory then uh, if you've read the book think and grow rich by napoleon hill there's that it's really that energy that i'm feeling we've got the moon and we've got two lunar eclipses in your season that are coming up or the the first lunar eclipse sorry in your season we've got the eight of water we have the three of fire yeah yeah, moving on to walking away, moving on to new things. And it's all based around your intuition. Ten of water, emotional fulfillment. And I think, feel like we've got one more for you. The tower. Yes. So there's going to be some changes that happen. And I feel like you want these changes to happen. There's going to be a lot of shifts, quick shifts. It does feel very quick, the shifts that are coming in for you. A um, lot of self-realization. These could be uh, energy shifts in you, Aries, where you, where you have these moments of of real clarity in your intuitive space, and then you the the physical form around you changes. The situation changes, and it's an opportunity for you to step forward into this new energy. Let's see what else spirit want you to know about this next year. A lot of transformation with this rebirth and with the tower card and with this emperor energy the emperor energy is very strategic very grounded very strategic a, a place of authority there's a lot of self-determination self-motivation happening some of you might be starting your own business perhaps or buying a house for some people we've got flying yeah this is such a beautiful energy this is the f being absolutely free we've got listening yeah listening to your own heart space this is also listening to listening to your intuition but listening for signs that come through we've got deep freeze going within absolutely going within wishing well what you thought you wished for or what you wished for even a few months ago or a few years ago i feel like even up to a few months ago for many of you aries it's like you having this realization that no you don't want that you want something else and it's this belief energy that's coming in to help you this activation of self-belief and this magic that's coming towards you with and really helping you and encouraging you and it's you're taking off you're taking away what you think that you want and really connecting to what it is that you desire protecting treasure yeah protecting your what it is that you want to create and education so for some of you this could be taking a new route where you're learning something where you are getting qualified in in an area perhaps and that's this new route could be learning in any area of your life it doesn't necessarily mean uh something that's going to be like an edu like a academic education for some of you this could be um, in any area let's have a look what's impact what kind of cosmic influence is impacting you this year 
What's the cosmic influence impacting Aries? I feel like we need a different kind of shuffle here. There we go. Could be you end up just learning something new. I'm what I'm hearing from spirit is learning on the job. So it's like something happens with this tower moment and you're learning as you go. But it's the belief that you can do all of this as you go. You don't need to necessarily have the knowledge now. You just have the confidence to know that when things come up, you will be able to deal with it in the best way, the most effective way. Oh, we've got to flip here. Independence, yes. 11th house energy. Yeah, you're going to be doing things in a very different way. Very different way. Okay. We've got your energy coming up here. Ooh. Okay. Is there anything else, Spirit, for Aries? For cosmic energy. We've got resistance, appreciation, and lust. Second house, fifth house. Oh, and we've got protection. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and we've got another one. Okay. So the energies affecting you, we've largely, I'll flip these around in a second. I just want to see what houses we've got. Okay. Yeah, this is, a lot of this is, we've got your energy here twice. We've got protection. This is first house energy, Aries and the moon. We've got lust. Aries, Venus, first house. For a lot of you, there's either a change in relationship or a change in dynamic of a relationship. We've got fifth house appreciation, Leo moon energy. And this is about, it could be about romance as well here. We've got independence, moon in Aquarius. Yeah, emotional independence. Because now you're doing things in a very different way. This Pluto shift uh, Pluto into Aquarius at the beginning of 2024 could have you could have been feeling kind of like vibrational changes we've got seventh house companionship Libra moon energy got a lot of moon with the moon here as well and resistance Taurus second house Mercury energy okay what we have here is a mental resistance that's showing up it could be to do, it's to do with something in your emotional space because of all of this emotional energy. We've got, we do have partnerships. So seventh house is all around your partnership. So it could be romantic partnership. It could be uh, business partnerships, joint venture type partnerships. And we've got protection. This feels very much like protecting your energy, protecting your emotions, protecting your feelings, protecting your heart space. And we've got appreciation and lust. This, the lust energy feels like something that you really thought you wanted, but it's uh, the, with this with the wishing well, where we had the energy coming through of what we thought we were wishing for. Actually, it's something else. It's something deeper. It could be the same thing, but done in a different way. There's a lot of connection to emotional space here a lot about the psyche so a lot of this tower energy a lot of the rebirth and we've got the belief system here as well a lot of that could be coming up in the belief in yourself we've got that with this with the first house energy that's come out as well here too and we've got something around values there's values something about values or what we think are values that's going to change and shift and actually we're going to go into something that's a lot more independent so the independence, the independence in self allows partnerships and romance to come in or to be on, on a deeper level in some way. Okay, let's have a look at heart space here because there's a lot of emotional energy and we do have this fifth house energy as well coming through. What, what do we need to know about heart space for Aries? For some of you, this isn't going to be for everybody, but for some of you, this is moving away from a relationship that is emotionally um, quite either unfulfilling or destructive in some way and um, not accepting of emotion. And you're moving away. If that applies, you're moving away from that into something that really aligns with your own values. 
responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. This is the protection energy coming through. This is about you being in a space where you've got clear vision, you've got a clear self-belief, you've tapped into this magic and you understand the responsibility of where you put your emotional space um, or, or what situations you allow into your emotional space. What else for Aries, please, Spirit? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot, there's like an emotion, emotionally connected romance that's surrounding you this year. If it's not there yet, it's going to come. If you are in a relationship, it's like this is being uh, brought to the surface this year. And with the companionship card, there's a lot of encouraging energy around all of your emotion, all of your relationships, however they play out, whether they... And these are new relationships coming in as well. And we've got loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. Yeah, so this is putting your loyalty and your heart space in the places for work, for romance, for family, every, everywhere in every part of your life where this is going to be where it's, it's matched. I want to say where it, where it feels matched. Okay, let's see what other energies are going to be surrounding you this year. You need to be very aware of this spirit want you to know about energies for Aries. Okay. There's something with this with the tower, this wishing well energy and with this belief, the belief that's that's coming out. It's like there's an energy of don't settle there's not settling for something that you half part half heartedly want really choose your decisions in everything you're doing and all the actions that you're taking from this place of intuition because that's really kicking up this year we've got adjustments are required third quarter moon yeah there's a there's a lack of satisfaction and fulfillment that's been happening somewhere or a lot of areas of your life and that's going to change this year and that's massively going to change this year with this energy. Right, we have adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So that's this uh, tower energy coming through. We've got surrender to the divine, full moon. Yeah, with this surrender, it's the, the allowing anything that falls away with this tower energy it's allowing it to fall and trusting that something better is going to come into a place we've got look at the bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius this is your direction this is the big picture of where you want to go fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries so we've got your full moon here Aries so this could be um like because we're, we're looking at uh, six months time Libra season for your full moon and believe in the impossible blue moon well we've got this belief and magic here there's something coming for you that's like a once in a lifetime opportunity and it's not going to pass you by it is not going to pass you by but there is something that will quickly be cycling out that is not serving you and not serving your highest your highest potential with I feel like multiple areas of your life Okay, let's have a look now at what might be being activated as we go into kind of spring season as well and we're in this new beginning energy. What might be being activated for you? What new beginnings can Aries expect? We've got foggy bog patience. What else? Oh, okay, we'll take this one. Ah. Oh. Phoenix transmutation. Okay, there's some deep healing happening. With this transmutation energy, for a lot of you, it could be the same physical situation or form of, of something, like the same career, same relationship, but there's not a transforming of that into something else. There's a transmutation of the energy into something deeper. What else for areas, please, for the solar year?
this foggy bog energy is because you can't see just yet that's because this psychic development is going to kick up and the the fogginess is around this intu intuitive energy that we've got that's coming towards you this feels like it will activate within kind of a three month period of, of your of your solar return oops oh, sorry i think that was me One second, let me see if there's anything else in here for you i feel like there's one more Here we go. Water spirit manifesting dreams. That's why spirit were like, no, there's one more. <laughs> Amazing. This is manifesting your dreams. Absolutely. And then once you see this, once you see this, this fog lift and you get clarity of what you see in your mind's eye, then you'll move forward. You'll move forward in the energy of determination and you will absolutely be on a winner. There's such successful energy coming through for you, Aries, like such success. Let's have a look at what might be hidden behind this uh, foggy bog that you need to know about. What's hidden that Aries needs to know about? I feel like there's gonna be a lot of activity, a lot of change quite quickly. And then once that, it won't take too long to settle down. Once it settles down, you're going to be on success to success. It's like win after win after win. What does Aries need to know about what's hidden? Whoops. Here we go. Okay, we've got guarded vulnerability. The vulnerability is spiritual vulnerability and the guarded is being guarded against people or situations that are pulling your energy um, and draining your energy things everything you do every action that you take every decision that you make should be giving you giving you energy not destroying your energy in any way or taking your energy away so if something's this is where we had the um the energy of what's my body telling me right now if there's something that drains your energy or makes you feel lethargic um in a very uh, foggy way the, it's like a no the answer is no that's your your personal guidance we've got release surrender and purge messages and dreams wow yeah, there's a, a release. This is in the tower energy. So something that's cycling out. This is like in the physical. So there's a realization that comes in after this tower moment. And there's a big, a big, big release here that's happening. But spirit is saying, trust your dreams. Believe in the impossible and trust your dreams and surrender to the divine. There's a much bigger picture happening. There's a big jigsaw that's happening, uh, that's moving for you, that's moving the pieces are moving for you. That's what I'm hearing. The pieces are moving for you. Okay, let's have a look here. We've got family, home commitment. So this could be to do with your family or your home um, in some way, or this could be what's coming in. We've got shadow side, moon, the dark night. We've got the moon again. So this, the dark night, this dark night of the soul energy, if there's any... With Aries energy as well, one of the, um, wherever Aries is in your chart, and especially if you're Sun Aries, uh, but then you've got other placements in, and other aspects with Aries, or other planets in Aries. With Aries energy, it's very much not, um, it's about looking at um, all of anything that is in resistance. It's about looking at anything that is in the dark and bringing it to light. It's about the balance because the opposite energy of Aries is Libra. And it's that is about bringing things together, bringing things in, in balance. And with this dark night of the soul, if anybody's in this transitional period, or this is what's coming up with situations, there is something about walking away here, but there's a, a depth with this moon energy, things being things coming to light in the darkness but it's very very powerful it's powerful because it's taking you somewhere that is incredible and it's dreams coming true here for you and we've got third eye clarity 
psychic development. You are going to get clarity. And we've got Mercury messages, travel and communication. It could be messages that you hear from people. It could be messages from spirit and signs from spirit that you see. This is all about how you communicate. This is about how you are thinking about things, your headspace. So think the trigger points in your mind space being, okay, what is it that I'm feeling right now? Where is it in my body? But this is also the education piece. So where we've got, um, we had education earlier. Yes, where we've got this education piece, it could be just knowledge, the understanding of something, the, the understanding the why, or this for some of you could be um, knowledge, could be knowledge that's being activated let's look at what's being activated for you this year what gateways opening up with this energy for you as you go through this tower moment and you go through these transitions what's opening for you what does spirit want you to know specifically for this year and what's opening for you Aries we have soft light codes light initiation great teacher awakening divine magic we've got that magic word again yeah this is real deep knowledge keeper of the light energy and we've got inner earth base chakra strength and security laying foundations that's this determination energy this is you bringing things from your vision, from your third eye vision and manifesting them in the real world. It's a huge year for manifestations for you. Okay, let's have a look at, where are we going now, Spirit? Okay. Some of this um, energy is gonna be referring to love for some of you because Spirit's just said, let's go here. So if this is to do with a romantic relationship, let's look and see what to expect in romantic life, romantic relationships. And we've got a lot of that coming up here as well. What do we need to know? There is a solitude energy as well that's coming through with this deep freeze of like re reflecting in. What do we need to know for Aries, please? For love connections, deep heart connections. What do we need to know? temptation think carefully about the situation this is something that looks really good but isn't really good what else for Aries is there anything else for Aries a love situation for some of you this this realization is going to be in romantic life or this could be energy that's with you at the moment or it could also be energy that is with you from an old, from a previous relationship. We've got let go. Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. So for some of you Aries, and this won't be for everybody, but for those where this is resonating on a on a romantic level, there's a, a surrender to the divine in the in your romantic life. Oh, sorry, that was me. <laughs> okay, these cards stick together quite a lot, and um. They tend to jump. Right, let's see. One more, please, for Aries. It's this one here. Moment. Think of a special moment that brought you much joy with your partner. So this is releasing the past if there's been tensions and moving forward from a place of intuition and a place of a different depth in love. And for if you're single Aries and you meet somebody this year, this is about being in the moment, really being in the moment, letting go of anything in the past and being fully in the moment with your with your approach to romance, with the action that you take towards romance. Okay, let's have a, a little look at pathway energy and see where else do you need to be aware of this energy on your pathway? What else does Aries need to know about their journey this year? Aries journey this year, please, Spirit. I think 
I need another shuffle there for me. There we go. Wandering path, enjoy the journey. Yep, so it's about surrendering to something being logical and straight down the line. This is about the journey you're taking and what you're going to experience on this journey. Okay, let's see what else. So we've got wandering path. This is really being okay with the detours because you're going and looking at the big picture because you're going somewhere that is magic. Vast vistas, expand your horizons. Yeah, there's definitely journeying for you somewhere here. And we've got voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. This really is connecting to your heart space Aries this year. It's taking action where it's it's fully your decision and there's emotional fulfillment coming through like real happy emotional fulfillment let's see what energy you're working with as you take this journey as you walk along your your romantic journey or your career journey or everything in between let's have a look the energy that you're working with spirit want to highlight for you okay we have Luminous warrior. Oh, this is incredible energy. This is incredible energy. This is where there's no, this is the complete opposite. Oops, sorry. I got very excited there and I got excited again. Okay. This is the complete opposite of this energy. So where we go through the shadow side, where we go through the dark night energy, and we can see everything in its whole, in its entirety, and there's an acceptance in that journey. But then you get to the luminous warrior where you've completely cycled everything out and everything within you is light. And we've got light codes here with this light codes activation and this light initiation, this teacher, this great awakening. This is a, a pure light warrior. That's where you're going, Aries. You're, you're becoming a, a pure pure of heart, pure of mind, pure of everything, light warrior this year. What else for Aries, please, spirit? This is like the highest. And we've got the mystical shaman. This energy is being very aware of everything this is the mystical shaman understands every aspect and the staff authority this is your determination I feel like you're going to be in a, a with this emperor energy as well you'll be in a, a position of authority in some way and we've got the hummingbird the hummingbird is all about knowing when to to go knowing when to leave knowing when to move there's also a real protection of family with this energy too and protection of resources, protection of family. Okay, let's have a look at where are we going now, Spirit? Okay, let's clarify some of this energy for you. Okay. Okay, we have, we've got two here, the Emperor again. <laughs> okay, we've got the Emperor and the Hierophant. Love, stable, mature love with loyalty, success in business or legal matters. So the Emperor is, this is your energy, Aries, as well. Big time activations happening. Big time activations happening. And this is all about you being in alignment with self, your, your, your own energy, your mission. And we've got the Hierophant, traditional thinking about relationships and traditional ideas and culture corporations. So this is you really laying foundations in a way that is solid, that is of a place of authority as well with this staff energy here. And this is everywhere. This is happening, feels like it's not either or, it feels like this is happening across the board, this energy. 
<laughs> very powerful very very powerful for some of you there could be it could be that you've come across a, a spiritual teacher this year that helps really helps with this psychic development or a spiritual teaching of some kind and we've got strength you've got three major arcana here love you are al aligning now and be patient money strong position or sound venture okay the spirits clarifying exactly what we've we've seen already here we've got this patience so things might not be clear right now especially when this tower moment comes in but spirit is saying be patient have the inner calmness in the chaos any chaos that might come up any chaos that you might be feeling because you're going somewhere amazing you've got three major arcana coming through this year this feels like you're going in you're stepping fully into this emperor energy this hierophant energy is what's bridging everything for you and this strength energy is what's going to be unleashed inside so that this is what comes out this is really what comes to fruition okay let's have a look at some advice for you here with this piece what do you want Aries to be aware of spirit with, with this energy with perhaps with this tower moment and this dark night of the soul moment there's a lot about believing in self believing in ability yeah this transmutation is all of this uh shadow side energy this any tower energy but you are got you are going to be flying there's just an there could be an energy of resistance that you come into your solar return year with but it's you're going to see why that resistance is so strong it's going to dissolve and it's going to be replaced by your core values you're not going to be living in any way um with with a mask anymore we've got ask for help angels and celestial beings who protect our celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance spiritual teachings with the hierophant energy and this psychic development energy as well and we've got stargazing when you gaze at the stars you give yourself fairy focus your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation that's this deep freeze and this protection of your energy. So for some of you, you could be get you could get that from looking at the moon or looking at the stars. Okay. Right, let's I'm gonna just move these down slightly because I want to um, create a little bit of space for you, Aries. I'm running out of table room. Okay, let's see messages from your guides what do your guides want you to know message from your guides for this next year messages for aries please okay be of service this is about doing something being in a place of authority where you can be of service to others and we've got learn from your mistakes and we have abundance is your right so any doubt spirit is saying abundance absolutely unconditionally is your right and there's been a lot of this it does feel like with especially with this the tower energy and this rebirth is something's happened or something's been an influence that has not allowed you to be in this emperor energy or be in alignment with your emotional be your emotional body your emotional energy and your values something in your life is stopping you from or blocking you in some way from being in that space being in that energy but this is the year where that completely dissolves let's have a look what doors might be opening for you this year Silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation's grace, the soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. Yeah, this is moving in silence and this is the moon energy as well. It's like moving in silence. Because your decisions 
your decisions come from silence Aries with the three of fire energy here as well like the, everything you're doing is inward first there's we can see that with the psychic development and then it pushes out there's this belief this realize a self-realization that happens and you have the energy that propels you forward and stays with you we've got hummingbird song wow and we've got the hummingbird as well already nectar of sweetness enjoy it brings the hummingbirds healing as medicine it sings wow so hummingbird might be a very the energy of hummingbird might be very palpable with you it could be um very healing in some way but it, the hummingbird could mean something quite significant to you or perhaps this is a sign that spirit is saying to look out for okay where else are we going now spirit okay let's get some advice and guidance for you morning star we've got keep shining even when the others have quit there's something very leadership about you and I feel like that's why you need to be on your own pathway so that nobody else can hold you back nobody else can be in judgment space nobody else can shut you down and it because it's just it's it's not like you can't deal with it it's not that you you don't have the strength to deal with it it's just a I I'm just feeling from spirit they're saying it's a waste of time there's so much more you could be achieving um, there's so many other things you can be experiencing rather than getting stuck in conflicts with others in, in any way take charge don't wait for the stars to align reach up and arrange them the way you want yeah it really is embracing your Aries energy this year and because your sun is in Aries viewer it's all about how you shine in the world the Aries energy how that how you illuminate things through your through that energy we've got the luminous warrior here as well oops and we've got replenish the sun will rise and we will try again so anything that feels like a mistake anything that feels like oh, i shouldn't have done it that way or you know i'll do it different next time you, it's not about staying in, staying in the situations that you feel that have had these um mistakes i, I don't particularly like this word but I, it's just the the energy of the learning um and it's replenish like down tools be in this deep freeze be in this moon energy that's come up so much for you replenish and be have that nourishment for your body mind soul spirit there's because it's, there's a big journey ahead of you and it's it's all about you being in a leadership role you being in a place of authority you making decisions you protecting others as well but spirits are definitely saying ask for help from them and that could be in a meditative state it could be healing it could be with ideas it could be healing in a relationship for some and we've got phases oops sorry shine even when you're not whole yeah this is spirits talking about these tower moments and this is the feeling of feeling not whole because things are uh, like shifting and moving away um, and this is just a phase what's happening with anything that feels like it's that we're letting go of anything it's just a phase there's something coming that is really divine like do you know the um it's like if there's a a quote that's like if the universe didn't push you 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 wouldn't know what was at the bottom of the hill or um something i think i'm paraphrasing but there's a it's to do with knowing and being in complete surrender and being being in this foggy bog and having the patience for that to lift by itself because it feels like you can't lift this bog this foggy this foggy bog this this uh misty feeling this transitional feeling there's nothing there for you to do it's going inwards and and seeing what's in your third eye, seeing what's in your own intuition and bringing that to life. Because this is not about anything that's outside of you, Aries. This is all about the power and the wonder and the, the dreams and the determination and the magic that you hold within yourself. And we've got Navigate. Beacons of light in the night sky are there to guide you. And we had um, stargazing as well. So for some of you, the, the healing of the moon, the healing of the night sky, could help you as you go through this journey and as you transition through any of these tower moments 
okay let's have a look at just some last pieces of advice for you Aries what's the last thing spirit wants you to know about this energy there's certainly listening to your to body there's something around health and nutrition and nourishment on a spiritual level and a physical level but I feel like if you do it on the spiritual level it will happen on the physical level because a lot of this purging and this is to do with the the spiritual body it's to do with the healing blockages uh, that are happen that have been happening or that you feel are still with you in some way but you are moving to something that is incredible we've got the ten of water here the moon energy which is all the creation energy in some respects as well what's hidden coming to the surface and this emperor energy emperor twice and we've got wow we've got unicorn infinite possibilities you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds that's what we're talking about here with the, on all of this moon energy the magic of love surrounds you beauty transforms you listen to the spirits of light abandon the darkness go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary i feel if there's anything any energy you can take away from what spirits brought forward today this is exactly it this is exactly it because you are moving away from this dark night of the soul energy anything that is not anything that is not for your highest good and for your highest vibration on your heart space and emotionally there is it's it's moving it's moving away and spirit is saying just it's almost like spirit is saying trust us because we we believe in the impossible for you and we want you to have we want you to have that and we want these dreams to come true for you wonderful wonderful energy coming towards you with this and the activations for you it is really rooted in this psychic development your third eye this rebirth what you're really bringing into fruition in the material world and the determination and there's going to be a wave of energy that supports you all through this year to get things done and to be in the situations and be in these moments and be in the experiences that are for, for your highest joy and pleasure and goodness okay Aries I hope that you've ha had um, some messages of guidance there that help you with the energies that you're experiencing now but also for your next year around the sun I thank you for watching the reading with me today as always and I will catch you next time. Take care.